Okay, I want to try to preview and, and provide a little bit of uh, guidance on using uh, the grain size analysis tool. This is going to be sort of a pebble count style tool in which you're going to be manually measuring uh, grains on a photo. So the first thing to do is to arrange your folder correctly. The folder can be anywhere on your computer. It can be on a flash drive, but it needs to have uh, these four scripts these are called uh, uh, M files, uh, and they all end with .m. These are MATLAB files. If you have MATLAB installed on your computer, you will see this icon next to them with that little symbol. And then you should also have a folder in there with your photos. And in this case, I have three test photos in there. Uh, you would put in there whatever photos you're interested in analyzing. So the next step is to click on the one titled Digital Pe Pebble Count Tool and it should start up MATLAB automatically for you and it's going to look like this. Mat your MATLAB window may look different um, and probably will. They, they are customized or can be customized and um, in my case I'm going to open up the script itself. It looks like this. You don't have to worry about the details. Um, but the key thing is uh, you do need to find yourself in what's called the editor. And so it'll say editor at the top. Looks like that. And when you get there and you have the editor toolbar open, you just click run. And when you click run, the first thing that should happen is it should open up um, a, uh, a, fi a file selection box in which you should see your folder that contains your photos. And so what you need to do is click on that folder and then select the photos you want to analyze. You have to select more than one. It has to be at least two. If, it's, if you select only one, it's going to give you an error message and it won't work. So I'm going to select these three and I'm going to say open. The first thing it's going to put up is a... Give it a second here. Okay, so the first thing it's going to put up, I'm going to do one more thing too. I'm going to close or move this editor box so that you can see the, the main MATLAB screen behind this picture. Okay, so the first thing it's going to do is it's going to throw up the first picture and it's going to ask me to zoom in on the scale. And so it's going to give me a little icon that looks like a magnifying glass. All I'm going to do is click and I'm going to drag a box around that scale. And then what it's going to do is going to, it's going to open up a box that allows me to ask, what's the distance in millimeters I'm going to measure? This is a 15 centimeter scale, so that's 150 millimeters. So that's preset in there, so I'm just going to say OK. And then it's going to give me this sort of like um, uh, zoom or, or measurement tool in which I'm going to click on one side of that scale, and I'm going to go to the other side, click, it's going to draw a line across there. And if I'm happy with where I've clicked, I haven't made any mistakes, and indeed this is measuring 150 millimeters, I'm going to say yes. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to open up the picture again, and it's going to ask me to select the view size. And basically what this is doing is if your photograph is fine grained, for example, if it's sand or uniform gravel like this, when I go to measure the grains, it's going to divide the screen up into panes. If it's large cobble, uh, I would select one. If it's a mix of cobble and sand, I would select four. And these are the number of panes it's going to divide the photo up into. And if, it, if it's sand and gravel, I'm going to select 16. So this one's gravel, so I'm going to write 16 in here and say OK. Great. So now um, I've come to the next part in which it's basically taken that photo, zoomed in, and it's got, in this case, two random dots, each falling on a grain. So what I do now is I simply go through and I see where that dot lies, and I draw a line across the grain. And then once I'm done the two, it's going to throw up another one. And I'm going to go through this process again. Okay, and it's just going to cycle through this photo. Now, um, 
as I do this, there's a little bit of guidance on, on what you're looking for. Uh, basically, you want to try to measure the intermediate axis of the grain. And so the grain, uh, these are a little bit hard to see, but this one, for example, is cylindrical in shape. So it has uh, a, a short axis that would be the axis going into the screen, a long axis, which is this one, and then the intermediate axis, which is that one. And so some of the grains are sort of roundish, and there it doesn't really matter uh, for our purposes. But in general, you want to try to get the uh, what's called the intermediate axis of the grain. And this one, sometimes it falls right on the edge, but this one falls on that small grain. There's, sometimes there's overlap, and so you just have to sort of guesstimate where that grain where the edge of the grain is. Um, here's the second one up here. Okay, so here's a case, and this happens in these photos just because of the way it's set up. So in this case, the dot falls on, this is the top of the uh, measurement chalkboard. And so what we're going to do here is um, basically I want you to, to uh, find the dot and go straight up to the first grain uh, above or to the side of that uh, where the dot falls onto the measurement uh, board. So here's another example. The two dots are right here and here. So I'm basically going to go straight down to the grain that's directly below. And I'm going to measure those. That's how we're going to deal with the board. Um, Okay, almost done with this first photo. This, I think, is the last one. Okay, so that's the first photo. Finished it up. And then basically it's just going to go right to the next photo. And so again, I'm going to zoom in on the measurement screen. I'm going to say yes, I want to measure 150 millimeters. I'm going to measure that scale bar. In this case, this photo is, is I'm going to call it a mix of, of sand and gravel, smaller gravel. So I'm going to select 16 again. And it's going to go through and do the exact same thing again. Here the grains are in general quite a bit smaller. This is an exception right here. Sometimes it's hard to see the grains, so you just have to sort of do the best you can. Um, especially for the smaller grained uh, images. You look for slight variability in contrast to find the edge of the photograph. So here's one that's falling on the edge, so I'm going to go straight over to the side. I'm going to do this grain. This one's a real small one. Here's one that falls on the board again, so I'm going to go straight over to the side. Another one, those that falls on sand, so those are all quite small. It's a larger gravel. Okay, my last screen. Okay, now the last one is a image of cobble. So in this case, the first steps are going to be the same, where I'm going to zoom in on this screen. And again, it's 150 millimeters. Now, but in, for this image, when it says select view size, I'm going to select one. And what it's going to do in this case is it's going to give me the entire image at once with randomly selected uh, dots. And so here, I'm going to go through and um, simply draw a line on every single 
grain, and you'll notice there are instances in which there's two dots on the same grain, so you're going to measure that twice. Um, here's another one in which there's two dots on the same grain, so I'm going to measure that one twice. Here's one where I'm going to sort of estimate where the edges are because I can't see the entire grain. Here's one where the dot fell on the board, so once more I'm going to drop down and measure that grain uh, directly below the dot. And when you are done, there's a pretty big grain, when you're done, it will automatically, here's one where there's, oh no, that one's on a different one. So when you're done, it'll automatically uh, move off this screen. Sometimes you miss one and it's kind of hard to see. Then basically once you've run through all your photos, it's done. And the outcome, what it's going to put out for you, it's going to automatically create a spreadsheet. So you can see that it's created a spreadsheet in that original folder. And when I open that spreadsheet up, it looks like this. And basically what it's giving me is the file name. So that's the, the, the name of the file, uh, of the photo. And then uh, there's a few empty columns here that will need to be filled in from the GPS data, um, the date that it was taken, uh, the, the position that the photograph was taken in, in easting and northing, and then the elevation. But then it gives you a bunch of information from the photograph. So it gives me the uh, conversion factor between pixels, which are the units of the photo, and millimeters, which, which are, and that's derived from measuring the uh, scale bar. And then it's going to give me the average grain size in millimeters. So you can see here that first photo, which was, which was sort of smallish gravel, gives me an average grain size of 7 millimeters, almost a centimeter. That seems about right. And then this one, the next one was um, sand and some small gravel, so you have a smaller average grain size. And then here, this one, 92 millimeters, that's almost 10 centimeters or a few inches. And that was that large cobble uh, photo. And then the next... Um, 25 columns are basically the individual estimates of grain size in pixels um, um, from your photographs. And so these are your raw measurements that you made with that point count tool. Uh, so that is how to use this tool.